everyone. I'm here in my studio and today I will be demonstrating how to paint this chickadee in pastel. I will show you step by step how I blend pastels and draw realistic details in the feathers. So please follow along and let's get started. Welcome to this demonstration on how to paint a chickadee sitting on a snowy branch. I will be using pastels for this demonstration. I have already transferred my drawing of this chickadee to my UR 600 grit sanded paper. I have mounted my sanded paper to a 8 by 8 acid-free foam core base. My intention is to frame this piece without using a mat for framing and display it in a wide decorative frame. I am using a reference photo by Jan Russ on Paint My Photo. Once I have outlined the uh, chickadee with my black pastel pencil, then I'll start darkening in the darkest areas of the bird first. I want to create a dark base that I can burnish into the grain of the paper that creates my base layer for this painting. I always start with the darkest values first and then I can gradually add lighter colors, lighter shades on top of the dark uh, values on my paper. I'm also using a piece of foam to blend the color into the paper. There are many sponge applicators that you can use to blend pastel with. And if you use pan pastels, they also um, offer many shapes of, of sponge applicators that can be used. I am using a medium hard pastel stick for my base layers. I like using them because they don't fill up the grain of the paper too quickly. The soft pastels are so soft that they completely fill in um, the first few layers of the paper and then it becomes difficult to add uh, fine details if the pastel is very thick. I am switching to a darker shade of blue um, for the darkest areas in the white feathers of the bird. And then in the lightest areas in the white uh, feathers, I will actually use a gray as my base. I will define some of these feathers using the gray pastel pencil, and gradually uh, I will add white as the top layer for my details. At this time I'll start adding some of the feather texture to the bird's head, but I won't add the final details until I have completed the background of the painting. Once the background colors have been completed, then I can go back and add the fine feathers that extend into the background. So please continue to follow along as I develop the bird's wing.
this is a good point in the drawing that I can begin adding some dark color to the background of the painting. I'm beginning with some black uh, color first with a little bit of dark green uh, to add a little bit of color before I begin blending. I will add several layers of color to the background and as I do this I'm able to blend it uh, more easily using my fingers. The UART sanded paper has a, a very gritty surface so it can be rough on the fingertips but once you've applied a few layers of color it's very easy to blend using your fingers. I will shade the chickadee's head with some dark brown and black to give it some more texture. I'm going to work on the wing and tail feathers. I, I noticed that the uh, video of the original photo that I'm working from doesn't uh, reflect the colors that I'm actually seeing. It looks very blue in my tablet, but I will continue to shade with a light shade of blue and grays and browns that represent the chickadee more closely.
Now I will zoom up while I work on the branch of the pine tree beneath the chickadee. I need to outline where the snow goes between the branch needles. There is also a section of a pine cone showing through the snow and the pine needles. Once I have blocked in those areas, I can start working on the pine needles. The light seems to be coming from the right side, so the left side of these needles will be darker as the light is cast on the right side. I will be using a light shade of blue to shade the areas of snow um, clumped between these needles. And then I will add some gray to add some shading and white as the final layer. I will continue defining the pine cone and then I will finish some of the detail around the chickadee's feet. It's good to have a sharp pastel pencil to work on these small areas. I am also using my white pencil to capture some of the highlights in the pine cone and in the pine needles. Here I will finish the snow that surrounds the pine needles. I will continue to use the light blue as my shadows in the layers of snow. Then I will use my white pastel to blend it all together.
Now I will start adding some of the final details, uh, especially the fine feathers around the edges of the chickadee and other details to complete this painting. I'm using my white pastel pencil to finish some of the soft downy feathers on the chickadee's breast. I will continue to work on the bird's feathers to give it a very full fluffy appearance. Here I will continue to add some color to the bird's feathers so that it blends softly into the background. I will blend the background a little bit more and add some final details and highlights and now I believe the painting is finished. I hope you have enjoyed this demonstration of how to paint a chickadee in pastels. Please subscribe and press the bell icon to receive notifications of new videos and lessons. Thank you.